right. <laughs> okay, I'm on your page. Oh, you haven't gone live yet. Oh no, I'm live. I should get, live. Yeah, you might have to refresh it. Oh, 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 yes, yes. I'm gonna yell something to Gloria. One sec. Do we, to... that's me. There we are. Stanley, stop it. <laughs> you can hear Stanley. Stanley, stop it. This is terrible timing. <laughs> We're getting dialed in here. Stanley's getting uh Stanley's getting all all uh getting all testy. We're getting dialed in here. Okay. Come here. Okay. We're having we're already having technical difficulties here. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, I might have to I might have to interrupt the broadcast for a second and let him out. <laughs> but that's why it's that's why it's Facebook Live. Can you that's hear me, right. Jen? I can hear you sound great. Uh, okay. For those of you that are just joining us, uh, yeah, so my friends are my friends are starting to pop on, which is awesome. Um, uh, as everybody's getting on there. <laughs> Yeah, Kelly. Kelly's like, hi, little Lord Stanley. So um, this is my good friend, Zach Phillips. Jen, yes, good, good to see you too. Zach is coming from California. He's uh, down in like Southern California. He is, uh, we've known each other for a really long time. Um, <laughs> everybody's talking, everybody wants to talk to Stanley. Um, hey, Stanley. Yeah, Nate, yeah, Nate. Stanley, Nate says hi. <laughs> so Jen, I have selective, I have selectively really good memory. It's oh, selective, but great. for certain things, it's really good. We met on your birthday, two thousand one. Wow, on my birthday, yes. I remember that... it was your birthday. Yep, at the Nam show. Awesome. Uh, that so was you're like... It was January. Yeah, so... I'm. I'm on the cusp. Cap I'm on. Capricorn. Yep, I'm on the cusp, and. Uh... <clears throat> at the time, you were working for Music Inc. magazine, I believe. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yep, that's and, right. And now you work for NAM, and you are the director of uh, educational develop professional development. Yeah, professional development. Fancy yes, title. yes. So uh, if you're trying to find somebody to know at NAM, that's the guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's awesome. He's one of my favorite songwriters. He's one of my favorite singers. Um, Stanley agrees. <laughs> Your last album was awesome. Oh, thank you. Okay. He's got a new. Um, he's got a new record out. We're gonna talk about his record. And um, <laughs> there it is. Yep. Shame, shame. Come here, Stanley. Come here. Come here. <laughs> it's <just> like. <laughs> it's Okay, I need one second. I need to go let him out. Every, you, you talk for a minute. Introduce yourself, Zach. I'll be right back. Indeed, I will. Okay, I'm going to look over to the side on, here just because I want to see on, who's on. on. All right. I can't tell from this. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> so the question is, I'm checking this out here. What's everybody listening to <laughs> while they're under semi-quarantine? You getting any uh, responses on there? You're still 18. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. Lake, Lake gets a like for that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say hello to a couple people before we get started. Hi, Rusty. Hi, Anitra. Oh, my goodness. It's so good to see you, Anitra. Um, long time. Long, long time. Um, <clears throat> Anitra, where do you live now? I know you're not in Atlanta anymore. So, All right. So Zach has a new record out. It's awesome. He's a great songwriter. And uh, tell us a little bit about the record, Zach. Absolutely. Please. Um, it's called 
It's called The Wine of Youth. Um, I hadn't recorded any music since I'd recorded some music between this and my last album, but my last album was 2003. I hadn't released much music. Um, my wife, Gloria Taylor, put out a great album in 2018 called Go For The Moon, Shameless Plug. It's a folk pop gem. Um, she and my buddy, Jacob Bayless, um, did release a little bit of music on Spotify. But this is the only thing I've put out solo since December 2003. I was inspired to do it because it came and quickly it felt really good and um, next thing you know I was in the studio working with a brilliant producer, engineer arranger, guitarist Mr. Greg Monconti who I think so too so props to Greg he was the creative mastermind behind this We, we it says co-produced I mean I came to the sessions with a lot of arrangements but Greg was the wizard genius who put it together he was the glue Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And are you going to play us a couple songs from that record? I'm going to. All right. So before you do that, I'm going to let you out one more time because, wow. <laughs> he hasn't made a peep all day. And I was like, Zach, 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 it's Zach. Right. I had that effect on the <laughs> this world. All right. All okay, right. My wife's son, Gloria, thank you. Awesome. Aaron, all right. Everybody stay. getting my copy. Yes. Yeah, stand by. Hang on a second again. All right. Come on. Come on. Come okay. On, come on. Hi, Mom. See what else, Judy? Thanks for getting on. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's see who else. Aaron, you are indeed going to get your copy of my new jam. That's that's coming. Um, we're only delayed right now by the postal service. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> it's good. I got to catch up with some people. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys for your favorite. spend a Saturday night. Why not? <laughs> exactly. Wow, Danny Dukes, good to see you. Yay. Hi, Barb. Good to see you. I got a Hi, lot of Barb. people over on this on this end, too. So, yeah. All right. So, are you going to play us a song? Sure. I'd be delighted to. Um, and, Jen, we should tell them, you know, you'd think in 2020 um, we could get our technology act together. I shall speak for myself. You're a techno jock. You've got it way <laughs> together. But... I have to mute my phone while I take out my earpiece because I can't hear myself. I can only hear you. So I'll play Lady Bird, which is the first. There's a little um, a little intro to start the album, but this is really the first full track on the album. So I'll do an acoustic. Uh-oh. Zach froze a little bit. Here he comes. So, yeah, Zach has to take, he has to mute and unmute. Right. So you guys be patient. Can you hear me, Jen? Yep, you sound great. All right. Sorry, all. Here we go. <laughs> okay, this is Lady Bird. <laughs> Only when it's singing 
catch a wave with magpies. Sing to the rhythm until we cry. Sing to the rhythm until we cry. And there's nothing to forgive. Catch a falling butterfly. And sing to the rhythm until we die. Sing to the rhythm until we die. And only spirits live. Lady Bird, would you come around? Jen, still warming up. That's all right. That's all right. Um, yeah. So if you're just joining us, there's so many people that are saying hello. It's so great. Meredith, um, Meredith from Kaiser Capos. She says lots of <laughs> live. She said lots of love coming from Texas. Hi, Dory. Love you. Hi, Jeff Belcher. Um, yeah. So uh, I think we're on the same path in terms of releasing music. <laughs> Because <laughs> I put a record out called Americanica. Uh, goodness, I don't know. I have to think about what year, maybe 2012. So it's been a, a minute. And, 12 or 13. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I just put out, uh, I've been writing a lot, but I haven't, I haven't put anything out. So um, about, I would say about three weeks to a month ago, my good friend Lee Sylvester, um, he said, you know, if you put down like a scratch track and a vocal and you send it over to the guys, meaning like Jeff Belcher and these are friends of mine, Chip, Chip Finney and, and Chip and, uh, and Lee, he's like, we'd probably throw some stuff on it and see what happens. So my friend Jeff Belcher, who's a multi-instrumentalist, his primary instrument is bass. He went ahead and produced the tune and uh, it came out great. And then I went ahead and made a video for it and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put it out tomorrow, so I'm very excited. Oh, Sunday fun day, a video coming this out tomorrow. This is the tomorrow. one that I saw, Jen. Mm -hmm. This is the one that I saw. The cool. You saw, you good. saw the sneak peek. Yes, you saw, you saw the, the sneak peek. Um, it's a good I, video. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. It's uh, my friend Dory has, has a couple people have seen a sneak peek of it. Dory says it reminds her of uh, like the eighty, like the eighties MTV videos, which is flattering because that's my era. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, Anyway, yeah, so um, let's see. Peter Benson. Hi, Peter Benson. Stephanie, I will attempt to play Swinger Choke. And uh, hi, Steve McQuaid. Good to see you. And yes, yay, Chip Finney. Um, but I'm going to play a tune to start out that um, I feel like is sort of in your vein, which like, uh, like if we were going to play a show together and go back and forth, you know, in a live setting, I would try to, I would be like, well, if you're going to play that, then I'm going to match it with this, right? I like it. <laughs> so, uh, um, Zach, play Zach, Zach's a great guitar player. Um, he plays electric. He plays acoustic. Uh, at the winter and the summer NAMM shows occasionally, right? He plays in a... Jen, like, I've, Jen I've been accused of many things, by the way. <laughs> Being a, a good guitarist is not one of them, well, so thank you. <laughs> I think you're a good guitar lots player. Lots of love tonight. I think you're a good guitar player. Um, I, I love your style, so. Uh, but uh, Zach plays in a band um, in, the, in the NAM realm by the name of Prince, um, P-R-I-N-T-Z, because everybody that originated that band started in the print retail industry. And so, yeah. like I said, Zach used to, he used to work at Music Inc. magazine. And so... Um, so, uh, so they started this band called Prince, and um, I'm always saying that I, I, I always want to hear Zach sing more songs. So, but anyway, uh, but this is a song called "Off You Go," Aww. and it's a, uh, it's like a, it's like my best, my best attempt at a Bob Dylan-ish song, and I know you're a Bob Dylan fan, and, uh, so yeah. But I'm not saying it's Bob Dylan. I'm not saying I'm even like. I'm just saying, like, inspired by that, that style. Game. Yes. Inspired yes. by. Yes, inspired by. Yes, I'm not trying to be Bob Dylan because, I mean, no, that's Bob Dylan. So, you know, I don't, I'm not here to be blasphemous. 
<laughs> no blasts for me. No, but this is called Off You Go. George has got a diner in Deep River. Everybody knows his name. Sit at the counter, shout out in order. They'd be so happy that you came. Every night he looks at the sky. Wishes on Hey Joe's Life's got a whole lot of pushing and pulling Hurry up and on and go Eddie came from Cali Fresh out of the army Slept under a redwood In a perfect desert sky Singing la 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 Here's your lullaby Every night He looks at the sky Thinks about that old west coast Life's got a whole lot of pushing and I met a boy from Pennsylvania He said, baby, slow your roll Gonna take my time to find out every little thing about you And I got no place to go Every night we look at the sky Think about that sweet Got a whole lot of pushing and pulling Hurry up and on Life's got a whole lot of pushing and pulling Hurry up and on Jen, what's that song called again? It's called Off You Go. You know, you do something really interesting in that. Um, you, you, so the verse, you've got the one, six, four, five progression. Um, which means nothing melody, to me, which means nothing to me, by the way. <laughs> well, it's, the, um, it's actually a, fun, a funny story, but it's longer conversation about that. But, <laughs> but the melody didn't quite go where I thought it was going to go, which when you take a chord progression like that, um, it's, and it's a very common rock progression, that's my kind of my favorite um, type of melody where you take a common progression, but the melody never quite lands exactly where you think it's going to. It takes something, um, it's actually what makes something very unpredictable, and you also land on different notes. Most songwriters think about how they start the phrase. They don't often think about the note that they use at the end of the phrase, and that's something I've been more conscious of. You did a good job of that in that song. Thank you. you might have resolved it on something a little different than I thought you were going to. It's only because I have no idea what I'm doing, and I don't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so much of this is intuitive, though. I mean, we're not thinking this through mentally. Every once in a while, I'll say, yeah, I don't like that note I resolved on, so I'll try to pick out a different note when I'm writing it. Yeah. But usually it's intuitive. You're singing it in your head. You write it out. Yeah, well, and plus, like, I think it's also what happens when a dumb drummer writes a song. <laughs> That's funny, that drummer thing. I mean, they're, they're, they're stereotypes sometimes are born from certain truth, mm -hmm. but in fairness to drummers... You know, you think about, you know, Neil Peart, you know, R.I.P. Um, some of these, some drummers are the most intellectual of the bunch. These are the, the avid readers and the uh, the technicians, so. I know, I would actually say that I, I you know, I, I jest, but um, my smartest friends are drummers. But we all, we all, we, we make fun of ourselves and say dumb drummers. 
And then you could say, oh, yeah. well, there, there aren't any good, um, there are no good songwriters that are drummers. Uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> hello, Phil Collins. Hello, um, Don Henley. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> hello, yeah. Neil Peart. A lot of, you know, there's a lot of us. So And a lot of great producers, too. Yes. You know, Ethan, Ethan Johns, who's produced just about everybody, one of, just an incredible, uh, simple drummer, but lays it down like nobody else. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe I think part of that is because you're you're seeing things from like when you're when you're playing drum set and you're in a band, it's like a three sixty ten thousand feet up. Yeah, yeah. You're ten thousand. You know, feet even up. though you're in the trenches, you still have a massive perspective of everything, yeah. and you have to you have to be aware. I mean, your awareness yeah. your awareness has to be like on a million for sure. Um, my buddy, uh, my buddy Jacob, who's on this, he and I always say drums are actually in some ways the hardest instrument because it's the easiest one to screw up. I mean, you get you got one wrong fill in there. A guitarist can kind of flub a note during a solo and, you like, know, like I just guitar- said, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it, but that goes for both of us. Um, but, you know, it's not um, you can't mess up a drum fill. It's people will, will know it. You know, their limbic system will know it. The other thing too is that you know uh, what what I've learned um, in when I'm teaching because you know I've, I've taught percussion and drums and stuff like that is that um, it takes it it requires balance like to to sit at a drum set and yeah. and play drum set requires balance because once you get it going and yep. all four limbs are going you feel like you're floating so yeah. you can't you have to have this centered, you have to be centered and balanced. And when you get that going, it's, it's, that's why drummers, it's just so addicting. Well, music is addicting in a good way. So balance yeah. is another word. Um, when, you know, um, when I talk about drums with my friends and our favorite drummers, usually you get into you know, drives, a big piece of it, um, doing what's right for the song, but balance is a big one too, because it's very easy. You know, a lot of it takes a lot of adrenaline to be a drummer and, um, I, I, if I were a drummer, I'd be the guy who's overplaying. Yeah. So. And then to control, yeah, you're right. To even just self mix, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Self mix. Like, that's a yeah, good way to put with, it. Yeah. With within within the whole thing, and to just find that balance, and then then mix. You know, great. In my opinion, great live bands like self mix themselves. Right. That's why they sound <laughs> so good before the before the engineer even gets their hands on them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. There was a um, quick, quick, quick anecdote. There was a wedding. Uh, there was a band that played at um, a corporate event that I was in, and they showed up at the resort. And the manager, I believe, of the resort said, "Oh, and one thing, you guys aren't able. You guys are not allowed to play over seventy decibels." Now, can you imagine this drummer? I have never seen anything like it. He was so controlled and so balanced, and he kept it under seventy decibels. And he's doing fills, you know. Yeah. It's like singers. It's sometimes you have to belt it to hit the note. That's a talent. It's Incredible def- balance and control. It's definitely a talent. Um, uh, I got a couple of uh, comments from the peanut gallery here, so we need to address yeah. those. Um, Dan Bauman, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, the Funkos are, are fun. Those, those are like my little friends. I've been in quarantine, and the Funkos are my buds back there. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Glenn. Hi, Mike Stryker. I'm glad that it sounds good. Um, uh, Stanley is back, so he, but he's not barking, so that's good. Um, he said, hey, the, Mike. "Yeah, he said the dog pulled the phone out of his hand as he was typing." <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, hi, hi, Erwin. Good to see you. Um, do you know, Erwin, that the the last show I played before we went into quarantine was uh, your show there in February? So on February 29th, we squeaked it in. So I hope we can come back and play again um, when when it all is clear. So um, yeah, um, let's see other comments. My sister says hello. Hi Stephanie, and yeah, Peter Erskine and Antonio Sanchez are awesome drummers. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, so there's so many people here that are saying hi everyone. Hi, hey Valerie Lowe, Pam Cantor's here, Debbie Sapp. Hi. Um, so thanks for joining us. I'm doing these on Saturday nights, uh, songs and stories. And uh, this is my good friend, Zach Phillips, all the way out in California. It's a lot earlier for him. And we've known each other since 2000 and, did you say two? January, 2001. 2001. It was, it was my second NAMM show. Ah, so, na- so it must've been 2001. 19 years. 
Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to quit yep. me? You ready to quit? No. <laughs> You're having me on your show. I feel like the uh, most important guy on earth. Oh, you are the most important guy on earth. Uh, make sure you guys go go friend Zach, and he's got a new record out, and it's super exciting. He's he's honestly like, yeah, keep keep piping it, keep piping it. The wine of youth. Yeah, it's so cool. I love. I I read the I read your one on your website and checked it out, and I love the description about how. You know, just like that, the old school time in California and how like California gives and California takes away. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, as does as does life. So, um. hi, Keith Maybe. Dunton and hi, Dave and Kelly as well. So, yeah, I'm not fun. Jen, by the way, I'm no longer seeing people's comments. So just everybody out there know that if you're there, I'm we're grateful you're watching, but I can't see who's on or your comments anymore. Sorry. <clears throat> so uh, are you going to play another song for us sure absolutely I'd be delighted to um, funny you bring up California so uh, I moved here from the Midwest Chicago seven and a half years ago and you learn very quickly when you move out here you fall in love with the state but it's a very wild environment the ocean's wild um, wildfires are uh until you've gone through one they're hard to explain it's like going through a tornado or, or same with an earthquake and um i was thinking about just the um the, the 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 rugged beauty of the state and about two years ago a lot of people remember there were some horrible wildfires in the town of paradise was literally wiped off the map and so i was thinking about that and the cycles of life and all the deep things that people like to think about when they're writing songs that may or may not show up in the song. And I put this together. So I'm going to go to mute again. Okay. And then, and then come back. <laughs> We've had to kind of piece together Zach's technical. All right. Can you hear me? So this is called Doesn't Feel Like California. <clears throat> Why must the rain retreat so soon? This land we love us, a fiery tomb. Down and out in California today. Waiting for the earth to still. Maybe I can make it if I use my will. So it seems in California today Ooh, Summer never breaks out here Ooh, The wind it always shakes I fear The same tides that rise are the same tides that fall. Today doesn't feel like California at all. Must the earth burn so blue? This land we love is a holy tomb. Down and out in the wayward desert today. I can see a burning light. It's far away, but it's within my sight. In the hills of the wayward desert today Summer never breaks out here The earth that always shakes I fear 
the same tight thread are the same tides that fall Today doesn't feel like California at all Got to get reconnected to the matrix here. Thank you. See, this is why Thanks, I love Jen. you so much. Oh my gosh. I want to cover that song. <laughs> I'm serious. It's so good. You don't Mind give it. It's so. Blown. No, it is so freaking good. Mind blown. Um, yeah, so this is, you got like massive compliments. I need to read them to you. Um, Pam. Uh, thank you for asking. There is actually a PayPal link in the description, as well as my little Venmo thing is up there uh, if you want to. And then Jeff Shervenak, holy cow, hi, from St. Thomas. Um, I, heard your cl I heard you guys are um, catching lobster for dinner and stuff like that. Super jealous. <laughs> um, my sister says that you remind her of John Denver, which I think is an enormous compliment. I don't know what you think about John Denver's writing but um i'll and the, take it yeah and rust rusty are you saying that um that that he reminds you of john nebraska is that what you're saying is that your thing there um and hi bill hart good to see you um yeah so uh, your listeners are off your, your buddies are awfully um thoughtful <laughs> yeah thanks Jen's I, I, friends I, I love my friends i love my friends are you are, are is your music also downloadable on itunes yeah, absolutely. So I'd love to say it's my last shameless plug. <laughs> Don't let it know. I just keep. love this cover. I love this cover. I didn't do it. I have nothing to do with it. I did. I sort of, it's based off a photo I took, but I had a brilliant collage artist I found on Fiverr who did this. Oh. Um, it's called The Wine of Youth. And you can get the CD, obviously, although CD Baby, believe it or not, with the, with the uh, COVID-19 situation, their warehouse is closed, so they're not accepting, um, they're not distributing any any new music right now. So you can get it on Spotify, Zach Phillips, The Wine of Youth, Apple Music, any dis digital distribution services. And I have two kind of makeshift videos on YouTube as well for Lady Bird and um, Stranded in the Night. Yes, and I'm actually going to release a brand new song and video tomorrow as well. So woohoo! Yay, new good music, video. new good, music. Good video. Uh, thank you. Um, hi, Jed Davis. Holy Jen, can, cow. I, can I interview you? Please, can go I, for it. Can yeah. I interview you for a yeah. sec? Yeah. You said something about the style of the video, and the first thing I thought was there was that golden era in the late 80s when videos became suddenly more like film. They didn't have that kind of almost, I hate to say cheesy, but a little bit more um, homemade vi like video camera quality. I like what you did. It reminded me of that Michael Penn, you know, no myth era, you know, late 80s. So I guess that's less an interview, more a compliment. I appreciate and that's that. What, but you told me that's what you were going for, though. Yeah, I'm super right? excited. I'm super excited to share it. Uh, I I wanted it to be sort of, you know, weird and artsy. And, um, you know, when you're when you write a song, you have a thought like you're you're writing about something that you've experienced, generally speaking, right? Uh, whether you read something in a book and you're sort of telling that or it's an experience that you had in your life or um a conversation you had or whatever it is right it's coming from you and so you i think i think as artists we have um we have a visualization of what that is and so in a sense like this is uh it's a little bit dream like you know yeah. um and uh a little bit weird in a good i hope in a good way i like weird <laughs> I really like weird. So, uh, weird yeah. keeps it interesting. It keeps yeah. it idiosyncratic and interesting. Um, yep. But I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. And uh, um, Stanley makes a cameo in it. So that's very important. Uh, so, you got, yeah, check it out tomorrow. I'm going to put it up on all my social platforms tomorrow. And I would love for you guys, if you guys feel like, if you dig it, share it. And if you um, 
if, if you want to comment on it I'll, I'll take any tips tips and tricks or whatever because i hope i hope to be putting out more music and more videos and stuff like that so um what's it called again what's the track called jen it's called number 13. Number 13. yeah it's called number 13 yeah so um all right well i i was driving home yesterday i went to I, I safely went to go visit a friend of mine in orlando i'm like about an hour from orlando out here where i live and um on the way home um, sometimes I just let my my phone play whatever's in it, you know. They just you you turn on the the Bluetooth and and whatever's in my phone will just whatever pops up I'm good with. And this recording of uh, I used to host these um, I used to host songwriter nights at this place called J. Renee Coffee Roasters in Connecticut. And one of the times, my friend Alan Venetosh. And the guys from Telefunken came in and they recorded it. it. Sounded amazing. And then a couple other guys came in and they recorded a video. They they shot it. I never saw the video, but um, last night that's what popped up. That 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 uh, that popped up in the in the feed in my feed, so to speak, right? And so I was listening to it, and this song that I had forgotten about popped up. And so I figured, you know what? I'm going to play this tomorrow night with Zach. Um, I'm going to attempt it anyway. Uh, this is called Tripping. Uh, and I felt like the chorus was like kind of appropriate to what we're all going through right now. So, um, yeah, so this is called Tripping. And uh, I'm, I think I'm definitely wanting to record this one, um, this one again too. So you can tell me what you think, Zach. See that you're treading water See you walk in the line I can see all your ghosts beside you The ones that you hide I can see that you're running faster Than all the thoughts in your mind I can see all the walls around you I know that they're high I know that you're frightened I'm frightened too I think we can fail I think we can fall It's only tripping after all I can see that the things that touch you from the tears in your eyes. I know that the hero in you won't let you cry. I know all your defenses, I know all of your lines. I know ready your silence. Like an old friend of mine I know that you're frightened I'm frightened too I think we can fail I think we can fall It's only tripping after all I think we can fail, I think we can fall It's only tripping after all Yeah! Thanks. Jen, what, a, what the resolution to that chorus, I mean... Didn't see it coming. Simple <laughs> song, didn't see it coming. You know, and, and what, that's, um... It's a... Look, the situation we're in right now, there are a lot of there are a lot of people in jobs and, and companies that are succeeding. But 
this is not this is not easy. This is not an easy time, and uh, it's that's actually a song for the moment, in my opinion. Thank you for our conscious, our just basically national consciousness, if you were world world consciousness. Yeah. 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 Lovely melody. Lovely melody. Thank lovely you. Re- resolution to the chorus. Thank you. Can you tell Alan Friedman that I'm actually a good songwriter? <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm like the three chord wonder, and he's always like, "Oh, it's another Jen Lo song." What, what <laughs> is Alan on here? Because I'll pick on him. Mm-mm. Okay, no, I, I actually I no, he's too um, good. For, he's too good for us. <laughs> we're gonna have to give him. So Alan's the Alan is one of the members of our industry pickup band, Prince. He's sort of the, the de facto leader and the lead guitarist and the Pied Piper, but great, one of the great great men. Um, one of the great people in the world, in my opinion. But he, to, to what you just said, Jen, I think it's much harder to write a good song with three chords that doesn't sound cliche. I actually think it's much harder. It's like, because you're trying to create something as elemental as the earth itself, you know? It's, wow. It's like, I actually think it's much harder. Well, thank much you. I, I appreciate that. Are you listening, <laughs> Alan Friedman? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Meredith, Meredith said, does Meredith. Alan listen to anyone? Mm, no. <laughs> we love Alan. Alan's awesome. Hey, I mean, he wait, is. Meredith, is Meredith on? Yeah, she's on here. Oh, I know. Talk I got. To my friend Meredith. See, I got mine too. I got mine too. Look. Meredith. Wait, I need to do this. This, by the way, Meredith is the head of Kaiser Capos. That's why we're, we're doing this. Yes. And one of the great modern, in my opinion, one of the, kind of exemplifies the modern CEO, um, just a, a, a fantastic human being. Yes, uh, this is a this is a, a shameless plug, and we have matching capos. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So very colorful. Yeah, <laughs> I have I have a lot of Kaiser capos. I'm very grateful for. I'm, you know what? I'm grateful for Meredith that she's a human on this planet. I'm so happy I met you, Meredith. You're, you're an angel. I love you so much. Uh, and I miss you. I, I miss you so much. So let's, let's hang out, even if it's on video, whatever. I miss um, Meredith, too. Meredith, um, DM us afterwards. Yeah. We'll, have a, we'll, all, we'll all do a, a offline hello chat, catch up. How's life? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I love the, I love the new, um, Facebook like hug that you can send. It's like there's, you have the thumbs up the heart and then you have like the little, the little huggy guy. Like I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to send one out cause he's so cool. By the way, I lost <laughs> some of my conversation, but Barb, you're the best. Thank you. Barb is the second chair French horn player in the, uh, New York Philharmonic. Oh, a real, a real musician. <laughs> yeah. Hardcore. And the person who got me into you, too. Oh, awesome. So, yeah. Mm. Incredible person, incredible musician. And uh, hello, Mom. Hello, Lynn. Greg. Good to see everyone. Mary. Ah, your, your feed came back, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Um, so, yeah, make sure... I love that you guys are hanging out with me on Saturday nights. This has been super fun. It's a joy of mine. Um, if you're if you're somebody that wants to do one of these with me, I would love to make that happen. Um, I, I kind of like hound people and tell them, come do this with me. This is my third one. So I'm doing this on, on Saturday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And um, I definitely like... I hunted Zach down and I was like, come do this, come do this. (laughs) So, um, just send me a, just send me a, a, a private message and tell me you want to do one of these. And I'm going to keep inviting all my awesome friends to, to come do these with us. So by the way, Jen, forgive me because she'll never forgive me. Although she's a very nice person. Barb is with the Met. Oh, okay. Even better. The Met. the obsessive compulsive part of me would have never been able to let that go. <laughs> is uh, is she is she safe and healthy? She's in New York, I imagine. Yes. Yeah, not me. I think I think a lot of people have left New York, um, spend time with their family elsewhere. So, uh, mm. yeah, I think okay. uh, they're all safe and healthy, but not in New York. <sighs> uh, Dave Hovey, you want to do one of these with me? Is that what you're saying? Um, be a lot of talking. <laughs> Are you going to play another one for us? Uh, sure. Absolutely. You'd, you'd recommended um, 
that I do a cover. And I'll do this here. So I'm going to do a cover. A buddy of mine, Jacob Bayless, one of my dearest and oldest friends, um, brilliant guy, brilliant, brilliant guy. I mean, I always joke he's, some people are creative. This guy's like, you know, you talk about the elements of nature. He's like a creative uh, tornado or hurricane. Um, he could at gunpoint write Sergeant Pepper or something equivalent to that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were talking on the phone a while ago and cause you, you'd recommended playing a cover. So I thought oh, I'd play a cover by another independent artist. Um, a couple years ago, we were talking on the phone, might've been eight years ago at this point, And he said, give me a song title because I love the art of song titles. And, um, I said, you should write a song called strange birds. And he came back if not that night, the next day with this. So I'll uh, do my tech check again. All right. And I'm going to play Strange Birds by my dear friend, Jacob Bayless. Awesome. Can't wait. All right. My back on? Good. You're, you're good. You're rocking. This is, um, this is Strange Birds. Strange Birds. Don't know they're strange They don't change Someone tells them Their hearts can't be broke by words Lucky, lucky Strange birds Strange bird wakes up at dawn, sings a song, moves on, doesn't care who heard, lucky, lucky, strange birds. Strange birds don't know they're strange. They don't change. Someone tells them. Their hearts can't be broke by words. Lucky, lucky. Strange birds. I love it. Surround myself with talented people. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call you like every night and have you serenade me. Oh, Just geez, Louise. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't. I don't. I don't think Gloria will mind. I think she'll be okay with this. <laughs> she'll. She'll. She'll be. Uh, she'll join us in that, Jen. <laughs> awesome. I would love that. I'm serious. That's. She's that's one, one of the best. Also, in a world class songwriter and harmony singer, and. Props to Gloria Taylor, my bride, cover model, right there. Yeah, I saw I saw that she sang a lot of the harmonies on your record, and they sound so good. So. That, grab that shot right at dusk at Carlsbad State Beach. And I was actually just going to make that the inside photo right here, because um, I just thought it was a cool, evocative shot. But then I wanted to get Greg in there and Bobby Cressy, who played keyboards, and our trip to Big Sur, and the next thing you know, we had a mess. So... <laughs> <laughs> that's nice um it's what a great play? it's a i don't I, i'm sitting here debating um somebody somebody requested waitress song which i could do that um that's an i guess a, a jello order but i get it but uh um i might i think i'm gonna play something else i hope that's gonna be okay um uh let's see here I could play it. I could play a cover. Um, you do. We were planning on doing covers. Yeah, I could do. A, I could do a cover. Let me think about what cover I'd want to do. Gloria says she's okay with that. We got to get Gloria singing. Yeah. Some harmony though. Barb is good. Barb's in Chicago. Yes. Sorry, that oh. my comments are lighting up here. So I want to. All right. Jacob. I... Jacob liked my cover. Jacob, I hope I did well by you. 
Awesome. All my, right. I'm, uh, my, yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to do a cover. I think you will approve of this one. So if our technology was a little bit stronger, well, your technology anyway, Zach has, Zach's in California and apparently they don't have internet there. So um, <laughs> he's, he's on Not his in phone. My square, he's, the square mile around me. He's on his phone doing the cellular connection. It's, yeah. it's good though. It's working out. It's working out for us. Um, Peter Benson, you were going to, you were going to be approving of this one. Because I think I'm pretty sure Tim Akers used to do a cover of this, and that's probably why I chose to do it. So, hey John, hey John Robbins, um, let's see who I need to say hello to real quick here. Um, How many people are on this right now, Jen? Uh, Can you see that? I don't know. It's a, it's a good number. There's I think a total of around like 50 more more. Oh my god. Yeah, it's good. Different different, and plus what's going on over where you are. So. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a Van Morrison tune. Oh, my favorite. If we were doing this together, we would do this as a duet. I can feel his hobby from a thousand miles. The heavens open every time he smiles. to him like a river song love, 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 love crazy love love, 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 love crazy love got a fine sense of humor my friend thank you very much <laughs> thank you next time we're together we'll do that as a duet i was i was playing along a little bit on mute and singing along a little nicely beautifully done that uh, that is moon dance yes one of the greatest that is an edifice of art that is one of the great 
That is one of the great moments in, in Western civilization. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And you know, talk about simplicity. Can you imagine how Van Morrison felt when he wrote that walk down? I mean, he must have like, he must have felt like he just climbed Mount Everest. That is just perfection. Uh, he's, a, he's a great songwriter. I mean, I just hope I do him do it justice. I don't know if you could hear Stanley barking in the background. <laughs> He's out All there. Good. He's out there woofing, woofing. He's hysterical. Yeah. All um, good. Yeah. So we're gonna we're wrapping it up here. Unless Zach, you do you have one more you want to play before we go? You got something you know that you want to take us out? All right. Um, awesome. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It's so awesome to see everybody on here. This is a wonderful way to connect with everybody. And um, if you do want to, if you do want to tip, there's a Venmo thing and a, a PayPal. It's uh, it's totally cool. It's if, if you want to, um, it's in the description. And um, thank you so much, Zach, for oh my God. doing I, this. And I'm honored, uh, Jen. Uh, I'm honored to have you. Um, I'm nervous to be on your show. No, I like, love I I, I love I love introducing my friends to my friends. So this is a total this is a total joy for me. Um, and I love that you guys come hang out with us. So uh, cheers, cheers, y'all. I'm I'm drinking the Mexican wine. Um, Cinco de Mayo is coming up. Carlsbad filtered water. <laughs> Carlsbad, California water. <clears throat> Um, one more? Yeah, one more? yeah, okay. I would love that. Yeah, we got time this for one is, more. Um, I'd, I'd mentioned you my album is a studio creation through and through, so I've only played this once. This was one of the outtakes, and it sounded a little too much like Doesn't Feel Like California, because I love to write songs in F, in the capo, you know, capo in that C position. So um, this was in that same vein. I'll um, play it. It's called, pardon me, it's called Flowering Bell. Awesome. I'm back. Can you hear me? Good. Dark winds. California night Santa Ana's blowing hard Guess that's all right People I know are going People I know are going Look off to the valley Desert made of light. Let's get old school while we have time. People I love are leaving. People I love are leaving. Flowering bells. Alone. Flowering bell, don't let so much die as you grow. Flowering bell, leave 
sleep well and I feel alone. Flowering bell, don't let so much die as you grow. That's perfect. I, I love you. I love you so much. It's insane. I, I'm serious. Yeah. You're you, ma you, you, you are magic. You're totally magic. Oh, my God. Um, Just a Jeff Tweedy wannabe. Uh, so you guys make sure uh, if you if you if you um, go, go to iTunes or or the Spotify or wherever and um, and look up Zach Phillips and download his record. Stephanie. Get, go to iTunes and go get his record. You will love it. Um, and thanks for joining us. It's exactly nine o'clock, so that was like perfect. And so uh, thank you guys for joining us. I will be back next Saturday night at eight o'clock with the new guest. And I promise it'll be awesome because my friends are awesome. That's as, as simple as it is. <laughs> Zach, thank you so much. Is there anything you want to say as we say goodnight? You're awesome, Jen. Thanks uh, for thank having me. This is a massive honor ah, thank you so, so happy to have you good night everybody thank you so much night, for joining everyone. us bye zach i'll talk to you soon ciao